Hey guys, welcome to BalsaCircle.com where we do decorations for weddings and special events. And as you know, we are well into spring. And so for a lot of us, we're either doing spring cleaning or we're just uh, sprucing up a couple things. So we're doing a DIY lamp here that we thought was really fun just to kind of embrace the whole spring look. So with this lamp, you can either go to like Goodwill or take a lamp that you want to just give an absolute facelift to in your house. and. And what we use is we just use this like braided um, burlap ribbon here and as you can see you want to glue at the very top with um, the hot glue and just have a starting point so with this because the lampshade is smaller at the top and larger and has a larger circumference on the bottom you'll have to kind of fiddle with it so that's why you don't want to put glue on the entire uh, ribbon rope type thing on the shade because you're going to be kind of adjusting them as you go and that way you know if you run out of ribbon or if I've got a little space somewhere and you can just move one over it's so much more flexible that way so here as you can see we kind of did add a couple of points because of the difference of the circumference of the top and the bottom uh, we started in different points just to get kind of like the quote-unquote four corners of this lamp here so obviously you can see we overlapped quite a few places and you're just gonna keep every time that you snip it and you've run out of room you just like I said snip it in the inside and then glue it in the inside so you don't see obviously where you cut it the best thing to do and we learn this as well as we do it and we always like to share these tips with you guys uh, we make the mistakes and um, learn from them and then pass that on to you so you don't have to make them uh, basically the best thing you see how we're kind of gluing it at the very edge in the inside you want to as best as possible have the ribbon rope finish in the middle of the inside of the lampshade if that makes sense so let's say the lampshade is about gosh i would say maybe 12 inches or so you want to go all the way to the inside to six inches up and then glue it and that way you're not going to see uh, where you cut the ribbon in the inside when you actually put on your lampshade hopefully that makes sense here we're just cutting the shorter little these are going to be stems for flowers on the actual lampshade with of this um, burlap ribbon here and here we're just using some silk flowers what we found was best I mean you can go so many different directions obviously the ivory kind of creamy ribbon allows you to put any kind of color palette on it we wanted to kind of go with smaller silk flowers and some um, ivory with a little bit of pop of color it just really depends on your you know office or living rooms decor on how you want to go about this but this is the look that we chose to do the we're, we picked with the silk flower it's kind of like a burgundy auburny uh, burnt orange <laughs> look and um, we just put it in um, little places on the stem so it looked very organic and real here you do want to keep in mind we did try in the beginning to the look of really big flowers it just adds a lot of thickness and dimension and volume to the actual shade so we chose these little dainty ones and it worked out really well as you can see it's really really cute and you go all the way around and uh, you've got your spring cleaning lampshade decor project <laughs> all done here we're just uh, adding a couple of other stems not stems what do you call those things leaves yes <laughs> to add a little bit more greenery to each and give a little bit more character as you can see it does make a difference in those details but overall it came out really nice just pop that on your lampshade I mean on your lamp this is a shade and it will look really nice in your office it'll give like that spring look and what's great about it is you can take everything off later on since we didn't glue we only glued in the inside and you can kind of uh, refinish a new lampshade for every single season if you want it's really up to you so hopefully you guys like this hopefully you found this helpful make sure you like share and subscribe comment below show us your shades of spring and we'll see you guys next time